hi guys welcome back to the channel so we are reviewing gbp usd and this is our monthly chart right here so it has been going down for quite some time and consolidating here and then it has been consolidating all throughout this time here and then it finally went down and it is actually going down in the monthly chart you can tell that it is a downtrend or 200 ema is up above that is the blue line right here our 20 ema is almost at the top of it so we're gonna move to a weekly chart with our weekly chart i'm just opening this up sorry for the sound there's a lot of me here and then on our weekly chart these are the lines that i drew which is the blue lines right here according to these ones these touch points this is a one two three touch point and it broke out of my blue line right here and it's actually an uptrend according to my weekly chart because it has also broken the yellow line of the monthly chart. So we are going to go to our daily charts. For our daily chart, this is what's happening. Remember, guys, our yellow line was our monthly. Blue was our weekly. And now for the daily, we are using the black line. So our daily has been up and down for quite some time. But overall, this is an uptrend as it is making higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs higher lows higher highs so we definitely in an uptrend on this one okay so we've moved on we are going to move on to the four hour chart the four hour chart that's when we're gonna make our entries as you can see in our four hour chart we're using this pink line right here and as you can see there is this first line here that we've used it has one touch point one touch point two touch point it broke it out of that line we don't long and hit that line so we do a second one one touch point two touch points the third hasn't happened we do a second one and broke out of it and it is rejected out of that one So we are going to delete this line because it has already been broken out of this one on the other hand we are going to also delete we have a respecting of the one hour chart and a respecting of the four hour chart but this is an uptrend at the end of the day once it touches here once it touches Sorry about that, guys. Once it touches here, that's where we take a buy. We wait for a reversal candlestick, and then we'll take a buy upwards. If it breaks out of this one, then we are going to go down with it up until preferably here on the 131 mark. 131, 200. 131,256, that's when we are going to probably take our take profit. But according to this, it could just go higher. Okay, so that's it. And our 20 EMA is right on it, ready to bounce off of it. Our overall 200 EMA blue line is definitely at the bottom showing that we are going upwards this is an uptrend this is my analysis for the week ahead for gbp usd we are definitely looking for buys but if it does break out of our four hour or 
below this map here to make a uh, to change structure and break out here then definitely we are going for cells so we'll see what happens on monday and we'll take it as it goes but the main idea is definitely for looking for buys okay guys thank you guys so much for watching this is one of, this is the first videos of my weekly analysis uh for the week ahead we will start doing these every single week so that you understand what the market is about to do and we'll only be focusing on gbp usd